So you just get home from your monthly shopping trip, maybe out of the area, and you've got all your frozen goods and the power goes out. What do you do? Well, today I got a solution for you and it's pretty affordable when it comes to 12 volt refrigerators. Today we're taking a look at the Bodega 12 volt 55 liter large capacity freezer. Let's check it out. Now, one of the things that I think is really handy about these types of units is the fact that they don't take a lot of power to run. Um, we are going to be testing that with a power station, and that's why I feel this is something that you do in conjunction with owning a power station that's enough to power this. These units generally draw under 100 watts, uh, more like 45, 50, maybe 60. They work very, very well. They're very fast cooling. And this one happens to be app controlled, so you can also control it via your phone. Now, you do need 2.4 gigahertz wireless to connect to. I was unable to do that because I've got 5G wireless here, and that's what our provider gives us. They don't give us a 2.4 uh, gig connection, so I couldn't do it. But I did download the app. The app is very intuitive, and I have used it with other fridges that don't require the internet connection. This requires it just to set it up. So no big deal, just know that in advance. If you have a 2.4 gigahertz connection, you'll be just fine. You'll connect your phone to it, connect your phone to the fridge, you're off to the races. This one here is an extra large single zone cooler, all right? It's a 12 volt cooler, it's got one big 55 liter large capacity cooler. Now remember, this isn't just a freezer. This can also act as a refrigerator. You control the temperatures. We're gonna to explain to you the controls real quick, and I'm gonna show you at the inside of it when we get over there. Now this does have a high, medium, and low level, uh, level low voltage protection. So basically what happens is when the measured DC voltage falls below a cutoff value, it will power off the compressor to prevent your vehicle from running out of power. When you're running this, you really should have your car running. Uh, but for those of you with RVs and maybe bigger vehicles with a battery array or something, you'll understand why you might have this running without your car going. Okay, it cuts off at, uh, I believe it's 11.3 voltage on high, 11.3 volts on high, 10.1 on medium, and 9.6 volts on low. So when your battery reaches that point, this will stop working. It will turn itself off, which is kind of handy. Of course, you don't want to totally kill your battery. It is portable and mobile. Got a really nice handle up top there. I'll show you what it looks like rolling it around here. It is easy to move. It's very lightweight, a non-slip non base on it. So once you put it down, it's not going to roll away. You're going to get a cigarette lighter plug, a wall plug, a wall plug adapter in case you have a, a different type of plug, and a user manual. Very, very simple to use. This is really not a big deal. It does have drainage holes on the inside. And it does have a storage on the side there. I kind of thought the storage on the side, this side here, was for a battery. It isn't. It's just to store your, your cables in it. So let's take a look inside of this and see what it looks like from the outside looking in. All right, so we're going to lift this up. I'm going to stand up here so you can see it. And there you go. So you have a second area, but it's a single zone, okay? You have this area up here, that's where the compressor is underneath, and then you have down here. Now there's your drain plug, okay? And this is your handle, this does fold down flat. We'll put it down flat for now. And you have a very sturdy kind of setup here. It's not gonna break off on you, a decent little chain to hold everything in place. And it closes back up very neatly, just like that. So, let's take a look at the controls on the side and plug it in and get a power station going here and show you what it draws. All right, so to get this thing going, you're gonna have to decide if you wanna use the cigarette lighter adapter plug or the adapter plug to plug into the wall for AC power. So here's your piece here. It's gonna slide right in here like that. And then you're gonna plug it in. Let's move you around. So I chose the smallest blue eddy that I have. This is the AC2A. Uh, just to show you, this does not need a ton of power to run. We're going to plug this in. I'm gonna turn on the unit itself, okay? And we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna turn on the AC. Plug it in here. Let's take a look at the front of the unit now. So I'm seeing I'm drawing 62 watts. I have this going down to minus four. Okay, so it's drawing all its power right now. It dropped to 61 there. I hope you can see that from the distance, but it's about 62 watts. This is the front of the unit here. There are your controls. Right now, the internal temperature is at 57 degrees. Your battery is right here. If you want to change that, you can always change it up or down. That's how you do that. This is your power, and this will control whether you want to go to eco mode or max. Now, I have it on max right now. So you can switch that back and forth. Eco mode will draw a little less power, a little longer between start up and finish, but um, it definitely will save your battery a little bit. So let's let this run and see how long it takes to get down to temperature. All right, so we are at 20 minutes. 
Let's see if you can see that. 20 minutes, 86% on the battery, drawing 74 watts at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So we went from 57 all the way down, and there it is, 19, 19 degrees. Once it reaches a cold temperature, it goes very, very quickly. So it's definitely cool. Now, these are very affordable. They're $329.99. So they're 330 bucks. Um, now, I know some of you are going affordable. That's $300. Well, the deal is a lot of these systems are a lot more expensive than that, okay? I've reviewed some that were in the $700 range. So I really can't complain on the price. It's definitely cool. It's compact enough where you can put it in your vehicle and run it. You can plug it in if you want, either on the DC or AC, like we're doing over here. And there is no no difference in the current draw. I already tested that. I wanted to see if it drew a little, drew a little less on the... Uh, the DC and it doesn't it's the exact same draw so definitely a cool little thing as you can tell this thing is super easy to operate there's really not much to it you up and down the temperature you can go on eco or max on the uh, control panel and when you're done you just hit the button and shut it off and it's done it's that simple it will protect your car battery which I do like because I know we always say don't run it unless your car is running but we forget you get out of the car the battery will drop to 11.8 volts or whatever 11.3 and you'll be like uh oh so it shuts itself off and that's cool too and it will keep the temperature in there pretty well i ran it last night just as a little test before bed and um, i i must have lost track of time because it felt like 20 minutes and it was down to just like it is here and um it got down to temperature quickly did what it was supposed to do so i'm definitely liking this unit this is going to be one of those units i keep around you know if you guys look back on my shorts um i had a refrigerator issue over last summer and i was able to plug in two of these take all of my freezer and refrigerator stuff stick it in them and i was good to go you know if they took an extra day or two to show up who cares i'm good <laughs> you know i still had power so of course i plugged them into the wall but that's awesome to be able to save your freezer and save your freezer stuff bodega cooler 12 volt fridge okay you can use it as a fridge or a freezer and this thing is definitely going to be something that i keep um around for my personal preparedness too i thank you guys for watching the link for it will be down below i have a bodega and amazon link as well i'm not sure if the amazon link will stay again we do these videos ahead of time sometimes things change before they get posted so if it isn't there you'll understand why but it is down there below the bodega site is there as well um don't forget to check out all our other links we have our amazon affiliate store there um if there's nothing in that store you like you just click that link and shop as you normally would you can even bookmark the link and use it to shop on amazon just use the search bar up top there to search um, that really helps us out it doesn't cost you anything if you like what we do on the channel don't forget to click and subscribe uh don't forget to click subscribe i should say and hit the bell too the bell icon so you're notified of when i put up a new video i have a lot of local people that watch me and they'll be like hey i saw your video and they'll tell me the video i did and it was a video from three days ago i said well that was three days ago didn't you see today's oh no i didn't see it yet so sometimes you may not see it in your feed until a couple days later so definitely click the bell and do that that way don't forget about our thrive life freeze-dried food store don't forget that folks that is some awesome very clean healthy food as well as our freeze dry wholesalers link that link saves you 15 percent just for using it click the link shop as you normally would when you get to the end you'll see your little 15 percent discount up on the top in the corner there when you go to the cart and of course below that are my patriot supply links that's prepare with iridium.com tons of great deals there i thank you guys for joining me today stay safe and stay prepared